in this fourth part of this database lecture we will design a very simple student enrollment system simply to give you idea an idea about the design process uh, some of the important concepts that you might want to uh, gather from this demonstration are as follows first the concept of objects second the concept of relationship third the concept of a primary key the purpose of the database system is to keep information on students keep information on courses and keep information on the enrollment of students in different types of courses uh, we will create basically three different tables uh, two of them are known as object tables one would be a student table that will keep information on the students the other one would be a course table that would keep information on courses and the third one would be a enrollment table that will keep information on which student is enrolled in which course the first two tables are known as object tables because they keep track of our data on objects what are the objects one is the physical object known as student and the other one is a logical object known as a course and the third table will keep track of the relationship between students and courses in this particular case let us start with the student table let's call it the student table and uh, in this case we will have uh, a table uh, we will have some fields in this table uh, let's call the first table first field student id uh, for simplicity sake we'll have only one name and then populate this table with the different values then some other information about the student like uh, the uh, standing which is junior senior and so on so let's say student id is 7 12 uh, 9 15 the first name of the student is liu second one is uh, let's say uh, smith third one is uh, let's call limos and the fourth one is kumar and this one is a senior junior sophomore and freshman here are some of the information now this is about the student this is the first table we keep track of the student so this one would be an object table object table so this is a student id student id incidentally is the primary key primary key this concept is important primary key now the second table that needs to be created uh, would be the course table let's call, let's keep track of some of the courses here let's say uh, again we'll make it simple in this case uh, we will call the first course cis 100 uh, second course cis 484 and the third course is cis 485 uh, now this course has four units four units four units so although i didn't mark the fields here this will be the course id this is the units and so on now these are some of the information i'm again making it very very simple we need to keep track of the fact that um, students are enrolled in certain courses so in order to do that the first thing that we need to do is as follows we need to know the relationship between the two entities we call them the entities what are the entities entities are things on which you want to keep information there are two types of entities the first type is the student which is a physical entity you kept track of the student information the second entity is the course so that's another entity this is not physical you can call it logical because you can't actually put your hand on it that's what it is uh, these are known as entities and we need to find the relationship between these two entities uh, now the relationship can be in one of many forms a relationship can be one to one one to 
many or it can be many to many let's see what this one is can one student can one student enroll in multiple courses the answer is yes so we call it multiple here now can one course have multiple students yeah, that is the relationship this way the answer is yes so this is a many relationship so together uh, this represents a many to many relationship so in other words one student can be enrolled in many courses that is m and one course can have many students now when we do this when the relationship is many to many then we have to break it down into two one to many this is what we do what do we do interesting what we do is we create so this is a student file let's say student table and we also have a course table here now we have said the relationship between this and this is many to many so in order to represent a many to many relationship we create something called a relationship file in this case we would have created an enrollment file We would have created an enrollment file. Now, what would we have in this enrollment file? Interesting. We will have, for example, we will have the course, uh, the student ID, course ID, and probably the grade. So let's say, let's uh, let's go back to our example. Let's say Liu is enrolled in Liu is enrolled in CIS. Uh, sorry, CIS 100, CIS 484, and uh, that's all. Then let's say Lemos, Lemos in this case is enrolled in CIS 484 and CIS 485. Now, how do we represent this information? We do so as follows. Let us go and look at the uh, ID numbers of Liu and Lemos the id number of liu is 7 and that of lemos is 9 so liu is 7 so how do we create the information we create the information as follows let's say liu is 7 that's a student id and he is enrolled in cis 100 and his grade let's say is a uh, liu again is enrolled in cis 484 let's say the grade is a minus likewise lemos Lemos is number 9, enrolled in CIS 484 and uh, his grade is uh, A. And again, the person is uh, enrolled in CIS 485, 485 and his grade is A minus. So, this is how the information is stored. This is the third table and this table incidentally is the enrollment table it has how many different uh, fields it has three different fields and the primary key in this case is composed of these two fields because seven and cis 100 will identify this row uniquely what does this mean it simply says that liu enrolled in cis 100 received a grade of a uh, we can't use sid because it won't uniquely identify a row if we use seven it identifies two rows if we use CIS this uh, particular key as the key, CIS 484 identifies 2. Our primary key must identify only one, uh, one particular row. So, this is how we design the database application systems.